Hey guys, it's Mark from Ace Tutors, and in this video, I'm going to explain a few of the most common probability formulas, where they come from, and how they are used within Venn diagrams. And as always, if you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate you subscribing to our channel to support us making these videos. Alright, let's dive in. In your stat class, you've probably seen and may already understand how Venn diagrams work, but if not, they are essentially a way to visualize probability, where each circle represents the probability of some event occurring. For example, this circle represents the probability of some event A occurring, and this circle represents the probability of some different event B occurring. But then what about this overlapping region here? Well, this is known as the intersection of A and B, written like this. Now basically what this region represents is the probability of both A and B occurring together. For example, if we were randomly selecting a playing card, we might have A B picking a jack and B being picking a heart. In that case, in this left circle, we would have cards like the jack of diamonds, the jack of spades, and the jack of clubs. In the right circle, we would have cards like the two of hearts, three of hearts, four of hearts, and so forth. However, there would only be one card that both circles share, and that would be the Jack of Hearts. So we place that in the intersection of both circles. Now that we covered the intersection of A and B, we can go over the union of A and B. The union is written like this, which is read as the probability of A or B. And just like it sounds, it represents the probability of A or B occurring. For our card example, this would mean that we are trying to find the probability of picking a jack that isn't a heart, a heart that isn't a jack, or even a jack that is also a heart. Essentially, any area within the Venn diagram. Okay, but how do we calculate this value? Well, one way would be to take the entire probability of picking a jack and add to it the entire probability of picking a heart, but if we do that, we would count the middle twice, so we need to subtract out one of the intersections of A and B. And that's the union formula. Finally, the last thing to cover is something called the conditional, which is written like this and read as the probability of A given B. Basically, say we already know that B is going to occur. Given that condition, we are looking to find what the probability of A also occurring is. Returning one last time to the card example, this means that if the card is going to be a heart, we want to find the probability of it being specifically a jack. But how do we calculate this value in general? Well, we already know that B occurs, so essentially we want to find what fraction of the circle B that also includes A occurring. Therefore, we can calculate the probability of A given B by dividing the probability of A and B occurring by the probability of B. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you have any topics or concepts you want us to cover in a future video, let us know down below in the comments. And as always, I would really appreciate the support if you hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.